Welcome everybody to another episode of Division 2 and I am Cinescence with exe.cutegaming and joining me today is Slander. Howdy y'all. <laughs> you might notice that we don't look exactly the same as before and the reason for that is is Ubisoft openly admitted that the gap between player levels when joining into a group was flawed. Uh, it's something that they patched in and are attempting to fix, but because of that, the previous video showed how painful it could really be. So we decided that we were going to reroll characters and pick up where we left this off range. more balanced with each other, just in case there's still some flaws with it. In order Sorry, to... y'all. Yeah, it happens though. I mean, it's a brand new game. Not every little kink is going to be out of it yet. But you may also know that we are not running with any background music. Um, that was a decision I made in order to help with the editing process. So now we're off to go do the Martin Luther King Library Community Quest. Ready? Let's do this. Okay. You wanted to show me something. What were you wanting to show me? Oh, uh, yeah. So stay right there. Okay. Uh, because I have an interesting little trick that I want to show everybody that is watching. Oh, you're not going to hurt me, are you? No, no. Uh, just go ahead and fast travel to me, please. I think you're going to do that rope thing. I have no idea what you're talking about. I have a feeling. Nope. Totally not what it is mm -hmm. at all. I have feelings. Uh... And it didn't do it. Ha! Ha! What? Ha ha, they fixed it. <laughs> na 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 boo boo. <laughs> Alright, well, it was worth a shot. Back in the day, you would have fallen a whole bunch and uh, not taken any damage, but it would have still been funny. Great to see you. Trying to nice pull to some something like our buddy Variage, I see. No idea what you're talking about. Here, have a Molotov cocktail. <laughs> living in the library and worried the hyenas might have something to do with it. Well, we'll wait and have some of the, the, uh, who are they? Not the cleaners, but whoever the cleaners are supposed to be on this one. Um. The Sons Brotherhood or something? It's First Sons. Oop. Boots. Uh-oh. We got trouble. Yay! Around the corner. That's completely right. What's up, guys? Shenanigans. Let's shoot them. Oh, no, there's still nobody here. Oh, speaking of Molotovs, that's something I would like to do, like a one off. Oh, we got beef. We got beef down here on the right. For any surviving members of the community that's been residing here. to quit shooting people with shotguns. That's <laughs> really rude. No joke. Very rude. Like, Got him. just unconscionable. Uh, but no, like, I'd love to do, like, some one-offs occasionally of, like, just some Left 4 Dead play. I think that'd be oh, a lot of yeah. fun. Well, see, the thing with Left 4 Dead, though, is it's gotta be, like, a four-person group. So we gotta get, like, you and Gur and me and Variage. Oh, oh, it wouldn't we... be the same without Variage. Yeah, if we can get Variage. Oh my god, game on. Oh, that would be awesome. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to find out when he's available. That's that's the no. big thing. We will make him available. I ain't going all the way over there to babysit no kids. Well, me neither, but we're going to make him available, even if it has to come down to like. Uh, Delauded or uh, You're not drugging small children. No, of course not. I would never never do that. Let me switch over to the automatic rifle. No, seriously. I would never do that. I'm, I'm just uh joking. He's just joking. I will make lots of jokes, especially dad jokes, because that's my native language. Your native language is dad puns. It is. 
Oh, right now my, my native language is ow. <laughs> Did you get punk? Uh, maybe a little bit. Let's just say that they found a bullet sponge. Alright, sniper's down. Bunch of bullet pants. <laughs> SpongeBob bullet pants, what the heck? <laughs> it, it burns. It burns so much. Come on. Burn it with fire! I'm moving up there, I'm gonna shoot him in the butt. Oh, he jumped down. Oh, I'm shooting him in the butt! He did. Bum shots. Bum shots. Shenanigans. No, no, on to the next character building piece of this scenario. I found Luke. Nana. What? No, 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 me, me, Dibs. Dibs, Dibs. Nana. Ah! What did I do? Oh. You spawned a friend, is what you did. <laughs> yes, they're my little, uh... Little interns. Oh no. Oh no. Guess what? All hostages are deceased. Uh, I have a sneeze trying to creep up. Uh oh. Not happy about this. Oh. But my interns are. Sniper down. Die, intern. Die. Bust out this rifle to cut his numbness yep, back there. It's, it's definitely rifle time. It's rifle mal. Rifle mal. You know, reload. I actually thought about that kid the other what day is? that used to be in our gr our raiding group. Oh. You used to sing that all the time. Yep. I actually uh, thought about him the other day. He contacted me on Facebook like three, four years ago. Yeah. Yep. Um, I don't. I don't think I ever like. I I said hello, hello, what's back, what's up, back, and then we never talked again. But yeah. I hope he's doing okay. He was a good kid. Dee Dee. Yeah. What an awesome dude. So, so the audience well, is probably gonna... like. He's probably like old enough to like have to pay us like income taxes and stuff now. No. Oh no, he might be. Yeah, I mean he was like thirteen. No, or something, he was right? ten when he first joined us. Oh yeah. Okay, so the audience yeah, so isn't completely he... lost. Um, <laughs> so me and Slander used to run a guild in World of Warcraft, and one of when they first introduced uh, Death Knights. Um, we ended up getting this kid who was like 10 years old, and he was a bit of a handful at time, but he actually really knew his stuff. Like, smart as a whip, a little weird, but smart as a whip. And... Pretty much like sin. <laughs> but... Oh, there's special ammo here. Um, but yeah, like, certain people you end up gaming with just kind of leave an impression, and years, years later, what... We're talking about 14 years later, and I'm thinking about the kid again. No, uh, it's it's got to be more like 10. It can't be 14, can it? Uh, it was. Well, no, it may be about 10. It's it's yeah. probably closer to 10 than 14. I I don't think I've lived uh, in the town I lived in long enough to be 14, but 10, yeah, for sure. Yeah, because I was just. It just took me by surprise that I even thought about him. Yeah. I wonder how he's doing. Luke. I'm sure he's doing well. Oh, yeah. Kid like that, I hope he went to college. Oh, yeah. Oh, just think. Two more years. Two more years and my youngest will be. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Gosh, it's been for... Like, uh, I look at... Uh, the way things are for me now, and I'm like, wow, so, like, my, uh, my mate's kid is older than Ash when, when I remembered him. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. real. Yep. And Ash, to me, is like a, a quote-unquote a full-grown adult. Yep. I mean, he's got a good making for it, that's for sure. Yep. 
I mean, he can drive. Oh, it's a legal age to drive. Yeah, he just isn't done with his car yet. Yeah. But. What? Do, uh, uh, a little bit more about what he's working on with the car. Um, he is. Him and Gur got a 53 Dodge Cornet to rebuild as his first car. Dude, that's gonna be kind of fun to be done with it. Oh, yeah. It's gonna build a lot of character during the rebuilding process, but he's gonna be able to, like, learn stuff that. Even as a, like, I consider myself a pretty decent computer geek, but I have no idea what I'm doing with cars. Yeah. But to be able to, like, troubleshoot your own car, especially something that's, like, a valuable classic, that's just, that's so awesome. Yeah, I figured it was the best option um, for him to have his first car instead of it just being given to him like a lot of parents do. Uh, yeah. Making sure he he built his own, so he knew knows how to change the tires. He knows how to change the oil. He right. understands the ins and outs of it. Do more than just the Mr. Miyagi wax on, wax off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that's really awesome. The big guy's taking a while to take down. Oh yeah. Popping him full of uh, rifle bullets, and he's just sitting there going, "I need to reload. Oh, I need to reload again." Well, the turrets beating the tar out of him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, early game, I love the turret, the seeker mines. Late game, the hive is almost a requirement. Because you're going to go down to, like, Search for some survivors. stray bullet, hiding. and you're going to be like, what? No, that's not cheating fair. And then your, your revive hive is going to be like, I got you, bro. And you're going to be like, I love you. This is why I keep you around. See, and that's why I think there's a flaw with it. I'm hoping there's a rebalance somewhere along the lines. Uh, well, as much as they've rebalanced the uh, beginning stages where greens didn't uh, didn't upscale correctly, I don't know that there's a whole lot of room for what they're going to do with purples and blues. Because they should be, in theory, scaling better than the grays and the greens that us newbies have. Yeah. So I, I'm not, I'm not sure that we're gonna see a whole lot of normalization when it comes to that kind of gear. And frankly, having it may uh, not be I've a gear a, issue though. My, yeah, my other character is max gear score, and I've run multiple people through the world tiers. Uh, it, it doesn't seem that off-putting. Yeah, you. You one-shot stuff on World Tier 1, and by the time you're at World Tier 3 or 4, you're just a part of the group, and you need everybody there to... Because you can't carry them anymore. You're, you're there, and they have to participate. Oh, yeah. So no, that's not what I'm knocking. It feels normal there, and that ow, ow, uh, ow. all of your teammates aren't getting one-shot the way they would be right now if I was my max level tier trying to carry Sin through this content. It just, it wouldn't work. Or at least it wouldn't before the patch that happened today. And uh, we we weren't going to spend a whole lot of time trying to prove or disprove that the, the normalization works. Oh, yeah. Especially not with me uh, being able to try and run through this and have uh, a more pleasurable experience. Because if I was in here at max tier and everything was normalized, I'd still be one-shotting everything. Yeah, my my thing is, is I think fun. I think more likely what they're going to end up doing is most teams should be team dealers. You know, I'm assuming what they're going to do is make adjustments to the NPCs instead, so that they they scale better with the in-game content. Because I mean, they push this through closed testing pretty fast. Yeah, I'm, I'm not so sure about that. Um, from everything that they talked about at the State of the Game stream was Lock that up. it was it was about the, the green and gray uh, gears that was not being calculated right, like it didn't have enough armor and health on it. Uh, so they said they fixed that so that everything should be... Um, Similar in difficulty, 
but not so similar in how quickly you would die and just get one shot by some random sniper this could have turned out tragic. I'll ask yeah, to send I mean, no, I, I get that part. What I'm saying is, like, they're either A, going to recalibrate the enemies at in-game so that you're not required to have two or all players to carry the hive, because that uh, seems a bit in balance for team dynamic. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, uh, yeah so... Or they are going to basically require you to go through the DZ to get high-end gear in order to finish the in-game content. I see what you're saying. Yeah, so, and this is probably me being flighty and not paying 100% attention, but uh, if there are three people in a squad doing uh, in-game content, uh, and you do like a level three control point where you you've done two side missions, so it's the the control point is uh, fairly difficult, but not all the way. Uh, if you've got three people, it's a lot easier than if you've got four people in the squad. If you have four people, then suddenly you've got a lot more of the, the AI NPCs that can just tank everything you throw at them, run up on you, and there's nothing you can do about it. They just keep staying up in your face, shooting you until you die. But um, with three people, it's not it's not as bad they they continue their their pre-programmed behaviors where they they don't run up on you they they stay at whatever range that they as a class are supposed to be and it's manageable but at four it it kind of feels futile uh i think they were patching that uh with, or fixing that with this patch but again uh the, the sin and i haven't played enough to figure that out yet yeah so hopefully at, at another point in the future we'll be able to either confirm it or deny it and uh that'll be a good quality of life adjustment because even at uh in-game content some things still feel not unfair just overly challenging unnecessarily rough <laughs> Yeah, and I mean, granted, this is the way that you go now, from 450 gear to 485 gear, so there there still should be, like, a huge level of difficulty, and you should fight tooth and nail for every bit of upgrade. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's but, it's not supposed to be a walk in a park yeah, by any stretch it, of the means. It almost felt in, impossible for a squad of myself and three others at max gear score. Uh, but granted, this was at max gear score, not everybody's got a complete set that works for them. I'm right here. Yeah. Basically, uh, it at hello. the current point, and this just my takeaway from what you were saying, is you basically have to be totally dialed in, gear sets, t you know, tweaked min-max to the nines in order to get anything really done correct you've got to have your three-piece bonus you got to have the other stuff that bumps up your stats in such a way to where you're doing what what your class or or your uh gear set should be doing right uh, and there's there's not a whole lot of there wasn't i don't know if there still is but there wasn't a whole lot of margin for error on that yeah uh, we'll get hopefully to that it's later. freed back up yeah yeah. We'll, we'll definitely right get now, to that we're later. The, we're <laughs> in the newbie phase is where we're looking for whatever the, the the best upgrade is as far as like armor goes, and we don't care about the stats. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Let's not die. As long as I get to wear my cowboy hat, I don't care. All right, well, let's wrap this up. I'm um, sure that was out. really informative for new players. Get ready for the hurt, basically. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we'll make it better. <laughs> We'll end the episode here, and we'll see you guys next time. Say goodnight, Slander. Goodnight, Slander. <laughs>